basketball. Engage Sport North is an organization that is dedicated to advanced sport participation that includes creating programs to get everyone involved. Coordinator Chantiel set up an obstacle course to get the participants comfortable in the chairs before getting on the court, and people quickly realized how difficult it really is. My arms are jello. So in the beginning I felt like, ooh, I'm good, and then you're like, I can't even reach the basket. It's definitely more difficult uh, because people need to have the, the skills to maneuver the basketball, or so the wheelchairs, <laughs> but uh, they also need to be able to shoot. Uh, the basketball net is the same height, but you can only use your arms to shoot. You don't have your body to help propel the ball. It's quite difficult <laughs> to dribble the, the ball, and it's also quite fun too, though. So we're all really enjoying it. Try It Wheelchair Basketball gives people a chance to try out a new sport, something they've never done before, while keeping it inclusive. Everyone needs to feel included in all sports. And so wheelchair basketball is a wonderful one, a great opportunity for uh, people who are both able-bodied and people who, who need to be in wheelchairs to play together. My favorite part is just interacting with them when you're in a wheelchair and just having fun. So we know that just because we're all different doesn't mean we can't all hang out and do the same thing. Chantille's family was there and knows the importance of getting everybody involved. Because you don't understand. You see somebody, they do it and they can do it well normally because that's what they do. But what did they look like in the beginning? No one sees their beginning. I just thought it was so cool to create awareness to, of, you know, like um, so many people have to do this on a wheelchair as well. And I just thought it would be just a lot of fun for us to experience it with the girls too. I even tried my hand at it. And after a few shots... Sarita Patel, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.